here if y'all here to find a gravity and whatnot. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kobe Lomax, the CEO of Curly Hair, and today I need to get it together. So we're gonna be getting my hair together today. I washed my hair, I conditioned it, I put some leave-in in it, and that was it. It was thrown back like this in a hat, and so it got stretched out, and now it's like this. So, we gonna get it together. We gonna get back to my desirable style. Let me go grab the products. I'm actually really excited because I've been using this new gel and I love it. I'll be right back. What am I gonna do with this? This is not enough. Now I gotta go to the store and get some more gel looking like this. I think what I'm gonna do is just roll this back in my hood. You would never know. How are they gonna know? How would they know? So, um, let's make a little adventure out of this. <sighs> Y'all, I cannot take anything serious. Literally, my car got towed the other day, and I can't even take that serious. <laughs> you know. You know, we're living, we're thriving, we're surviving. Yeah, I can't wait to be living in California, but it's hot. It's sunny. Y'all, I ain't even gotta press the button. Watch this. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Let me stop. Yo, I want to listen to some Christmas music, but I also don't. What do you do in that position? Answers. I'm accepting answers for real because I need help. <laughs> Y'all, I feel like I have not been like, ah! I feel like I have not been like, and the camera like just, bro, why, why would you focus on my fingers? I'm going to stop filming. Watch this. <coughs> Ooh, that's so smooth. Y'all, it's cold without the D. Y'all, I'm walking with my head down until I get to the aisle. I'm not looking around because I'm not trying to spend the money. I ain't come here to spend because y'all know how Target be. And I really like this gel and it's on sale. So I think this one I'm about to get. This one right here. Hey guys, I just had a pep talk with myself because I just grabbed all these products, but I did not come for all of this. So we're gonna grab this and we need to leave it. This one. And we're gonna leave. Good job, Kobe. Secured the bag and only this bag. No other bags. <laughs> Bro, these are the things I be doing when nobody's around. <laughs> I feel like I should start like just being like really real on camera with like how I really be in real life because you know I be real but I be like toning it down a little bit. I'm very extra. I'm very dramatic with everything. I'm a Sagittarius so it's like I don't take anything really that serious. I'm always dancing. And you know, like, I feel like it's real fun. Like, I feel like my friends love my energy because, like, it's just me, you know? But I feel like on YouTube, I still be extra a little bit, but not how I really be, you know? Like, I, like, I be like, sometimes I think I'm a little crazy, but I think, like, people like that. It's fun. Anyways, let me put my music back on so I can. So we are back from our little adventure. I picked up the curl enhancing smoothie from Shea Moisture. I kind of want to try it because I remember whenever I used this, my hair did feel really moisturized and my hair also 
was very shiny and I love shiny. It makes it look like I'm wearing a wig, you know. I also picked up the Eco Styler Gel, the olive oil one. I couldn't get my favorite one, which is this one. This is my favorite one. It is the Super Olive Oil 10X Moisturizing. This one is literally the GOAT, the best Eco Styler Gel I have ever used in my whole entire life. I highly recommend it, but I don't know where I got it from. I really cannot remember if I got it from Walmart or Target or some random beauty supply store. I really don't know, but this is my favorite gel to date. Screenshot, 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 screenshot. So we're gonna kick it with this and this. I'm basically gonna go rinse my hair because like I said, I feel like that leave-in that I put in is gone. So I'm just gonna go wet my entire head and then we're gonna get started. Let All right, let me relight myself. My hair is big, bro. Big, big, big. I like the vibes. I like the vibes. The vibes are vibing. All right, y'all hair is wet. So we got to do this and I'm about to tell y'all like what the freak is going on? Because I'm really excited. I just feel so good in life right now and like, <laughs> That's how I feel inside, you know. I don't know how to say that, so you're welcome. So what I'm gonna do is just section my hair the same way I normally do, but we're just gonna moisturize it a little bit more first. I feel like once I wet it, it kind of reactivated the leave-in that was already in my hair, so my hair does feel a little moisturized right now, but I just wanna redo it again because that leave-in was like a little lightweight, not even gonna lie. I feel like it just didn't do the do for what I needed it to do for a couple days, you know what I'm saying? All right, so y'all, I've been feeling really good lately. All right, so we're gonna take the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, or a lot, I don't really know yet. I haven't used this in so long. This just gave me flashbacks, bro, the smell. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, work it on this section of my hair. After this, we're gonna go in with the gel and style. So I have been in a really good space, in a really good zone lately. Um, I have been feeling very creative lately, and I had been feeling a little bit down when it comes to like creating, or before, like I used to post all the time and it was so fun. And I think what happened was, you know, every time I made a video, I was so proud to put it out. That was when I feel like I was thriving the most, you know? Not only did I feel like I was having I was being consistent and I was enjoying it and like the videos my videos were doing pretty well you know but I think it was like I was just so excited and so proud about everything that I was doing and it was just really fun and I think because it was fun and I enjoyed it and I was doing it for the love of it you know for the love of making videos and being creative and expressing myself it made me want to keep doing it and then I feel like once I kind of became started to become about like, all right I need to pay my bills and especially because I'm the type of person I'm not taking no brand deal or no sponsorship no nothing just to pay the bills you know I'm turning down thousands of dollars you know because I'm like I don't I don't want to do that I keep feeling like oh this video needs to be perfect 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 so I can get the most views and the most this and the most clicks and the most that and I feel like because I was so focused on that I was getting stuck I was getting paralyzed and then it it started to feel like it started to feel like it was just becoming about the wrong thing and I don't know I just was in a rut and I was in a funk for months and then I you know talking to some friends some creative friends and just you know us getting back in the creative mojo of things and like talking about being creative and what it, what it means to be creative and all that it just really got me back excited and inspired and it made it just made me feel like I'm doing this to express myself to make good stuff that I'm really proud of to put it out and like this one guy Hines on YouTube he says expression is is the highest form of like nourishment you know I felt that so deep because every time I was creating things that I was proud of it just feels like overwhelmingly good and so and I was like let me just create for the sake of creating and make good stuff that I'm really proud of and put it out there just put it out and I don't know something about that just got me right back in the gear I feel so happy so excited and um, now I'm here making videos like old times so what's good <laughs> Oh, I put my tree up yesterday. I'm really excited about that. Like, I'm so excited. Just putting that tree up and it being behind me and the lights is doing their thing. <laughs> I don't got no decorations on the tree, but it's the lights is doing it for me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited to finish decorating my apartment. And uh, yeah, I, I'm just really feeling the vibes. I'm really happy. And I just, yeah, I, I have to remember, I need to remind myself like, bro, just create to create. Don't ever start to make this about anything else other than expressing yourself and being proud to create what you put out because I feel like that's what helps me keep going. So, 
Okay, anyways, so I just finished moisturizing this section. Now we are going to go in with the Eco Styler Gel and I'm just going to do it in sections. Also, so boom, I have been making music, guys. I have been making music. I have been working on it a lot and I'm really excited for it. I have to learn how to record. So this is my game plan. I'm gonna make some covers for some songs that I like and that's gonna be how I learn how to like produce vocals and whatnot. And then whenever I finish my songs, cause right now I just have a bunch of melodies Melodies, and some songs have lyrics, but they're not done yet. Once I finish them, by that time I'll have already had some practice and then I'll be able to record them and it's gonna be on. And it's crazy too, because like I was just saying y'all, when I stopped worrying about, oh, it being perfect and it being able to get views and it being able to do this and it being able to do that. And I just focused on creating for the sake of creating. All of a sudden I started working on music again. You know what I'm saying? And y'all, I literally find myself wanting to work on it every single day. Like I don't even be wanting to play video games no more. I don't even be wanting to hang out no more. I just want to make songs. Like, it's so fun, bro. And it's like, I don't know, man. I just really enjoy it a lot. And I'm really excited to finally be doing it. Y'all know I've talked about this for so long and I just kind of let, you know, different doubts and limiting beliefs and whatnot hold me back. And finally, I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Like, you're only here for one time. You only get one life. One. So it's like, bro. Get it together. Get it together. But yeah, so now I'm really excited. Music is coming. I have a whole EP like together. Like I said, the songs aren't done, but the track list is there. And like, I have all the beats for all the songs and like they're coming together. That's crazy, but I'm just really excited. And I, I'm just so, so grateful to finally be back. You know what I'm saying? I'm back, finally. Jeez Louise. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna start on the back. Gonna do this section, put this up. Yesterday, I got my car towed, which was so annoying. So I live in like a, you know, city area. And yesterday they decided to have a parade. So I parked my car while I always park it on the weekends cause it's free to park on the weekends. And uh, my car gets towed because of the parade. And they had a sign, but like, I wasn't thinking to look at the sign because I literally park here all the time. Like, why would I all of a sudden today be like, hmm, let me check to see if there says something different on that sign. Ghetto. Ghetto, you know what I'm saying? But it's cool or whatever, cause guess what? I did my friend's hair. Was that something I really wanna get, start getting into too a lot more, doing hair and especially, I wanna start showing, doing different textures of hair because there's so many people, that I get so many comments that's like, first requirement, have 3C hair, have 4A hair. And it's like, bruh, you can have really nice curls with your texture hair, right? You just have to know what you're doing. I'm just doing finger curls right now. The girl I did, her hair was 4B, 4C and her curls came out popping yesterday. I wish I would've took videos or pictures or something Something, but we were just having a real deep talk. Yeah, it's just like you can but you just don't know because you've never seen your hair like that And you don't know what you're doing But if the right hands was on your hair, they can make it look like something you never even knew was possible But that's what my friend Abby when I was doing her hair yesterday She's like I didn't even know my hair could look like this. And I'm like exactly and that's the point point. and that's why low-key I think in the future I want to have a salon something about being able to transform somebody's hair into something that they didn't know was possible And then seeing their reaction to it and like seeing them love their hair finally sometimes for the first time ever. That's just a really special moment that I want to create more of. And so I definitely want to start like a little series on my channel where I'm like doing people's hair that have different hair textures than me and different hair types than me. But I think also too, like it would be so cool for me to be able to do that, for me to be able to offer that to people like in real life, you know? And that's why I think I do want to have a salon like in the future because I don't know, it's just like such a special moment when you get to help somebody almost like love themselves a little bit more and to really just show them like a lot of people don't even know that their hair can be super curly and super defined. You know, I get so many comments like that and I hate them. Like that's the comments I hate the most because it's like, you really don't know. If I did your hair, it would look fire. You know what I'm saying? But they're like, oh no, my hair will never look like that. Well, it's not gonna look like mine. It's gonna look like yours, but it's gonna look good. It's all about the technique. It's not about my hair. You know what I'm saying? A little bit, yeah, because like, my the reason my hair looks like the way it does when I do this style is because my hair is my hair. But the principle of it is yours will look nice in your style because your hair is your hair. You just have to learn how to do it. And so that's something I'm really passionate about. I got so many things I want to do and I want to work on in life and I'm just real excited about it. Alright, so yeah, I just finished this side and my hair feels like it's about to be super moisturized. I'm about to go do the water thing where I wet it. I basically just run my hand under the water, splash the water in my hair until this white stuff goes away. So I'll be right back once that's done. Y'all, look at my curls. I feel like they're about to be so nice and shiny and hydrated for a really long time. I'm liking where this is going. I'm gonna wet this and I'll be right back. So, start on this side, taking some of this. 
Y'all, I cannot wait. I'm just really excited. I'm so excited for like everything that I want to try to do in this life. I'm just really excited. I'm not rushing it. I don't feel stressed. I don't feel like I have to hurry up and do anything, but just enjoying the journey of the pursuit. It's really fun. It's really enjoyable. And it makes it just so like life is so fun. Fun. like it just makes it you feel like you're a movie character you know what I'm saying even through the ups even through the downs you know I'm not in the best position in my life right now but I feel happier than I've ever been okay y'all this does not have a lot of slit so what I have to do is put it in my hair and then go add water to, to this product the Carolyn Hanting smoothie to make it a little bit more slippery because yeah it does not have a lot of slit and it's also really thick I probably should have got the other one because I feel like it's like not penetrating my hair that good but when I add the water I feel like it makes it it thins it out and then it does penetrate my hair, so. But like I said, I feel like my hair is about to be so shiny. And I cannot wait to move to Los Angeles. Y'all don't understand how bad I want to be in California. Before it was like, I really wanted to, but I wasn't ready for it. Now I feel like I'm getting to the point where I'm ready. And I don't know, I'm just really excited about that. Like I'm excited to make that move. I'm excited to be out there. I'm excited to go continue to taste my dreams but doing it in California and like making new friends and meeting new people. I know a lot of times people are afraid of change but for me, it always brings a new adventure. And I think my Sagittarius ass, I always love an adventure. So it's just like, it's exciting. You know, it's, change is really exciting for me most of the time because it is, it's like a new adventure, a new journey, more chapters to add to the pages of the book of my life. You know what I'm saying? And I really be looking at my life like it's a movie. Like the good stuff that happens, the bad stuff that happens, I just be thinking of a movie character all the time, you know? And I just be like, dang, this is a good movie, you know? So I feel like that's kind of keeps things into perspective where I don't let things get me down too bad because like if you think of a movie like they be going through stuff but it's worth it in the end because then they come out and they win or they you know become a hero or they you know all this good stuff that happens from all the struggles that these you know heroes go through if everything was easy we wouldn't watch movies if the hero just showed up and said hey stop it and the villain said okay and went home and the movie was over we wouldn't go watch it you know what i'm trying to say though right so it's just like you know, you making a good ass movie and like just enjoy it. The ups, the downs, just embrace everything, enjoy it. Add pages to your story and you know, tell your story. Tell your story. You didn't go through all this for nothing. Tell your story. I wish more people would do that. 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 Tell your story. Pass that wisdom on to somebody else, whether it be your kids, your grandkids, or whatever. All right, y'all, I'm back. My camera overheated because I'm too hot. I don't remember what I was talking about. So, we're gonna start on a new chapter. Remember I was talking about that? I, rem I remember that. I did this section at all. Oh, now my camera's gonna die, bro. You got to be kidding me. All right, I'm gonna try to hurry up and do this section. I already did this. I didn't do the water, but I just did all this back here. So, okay, I think I was talking about moving to California. I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited to go chase my dreams and just have fun and be creative and just like enjoy the journey. I feel like that's something I didn't do before. And like now I'm like, yeah, it, this life is all about the journey. What would it be if it wasn't? Experiencing it, you know what I'm saying? Not just always, what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next? That's dead. You literally aren't even living. You're just dying. Because eventually what's next is you dead. <laughs> I know that sounds funny and I know I'm being silly, but like, that's kind of true. I might put that on a shirt. Just being creative makes me happy and I'm glad that I'm back doing that. I just posted a TikTok today, now I'm filming a YouTube video, like I'm really... Okay y'all, so somebody left a comment and it was like, you should make a curly hair routine video where it's just like real time, like you don't edit it, it's just like you doing your hair and like we doing it with you. And I was like, that's actually a really good idea because how many of y'all have been doing your hair and like it takes a minute. You kind of get bored, you get distracted if you don't have something like watching a YouTube video or watching TV or something like that. But he was like, I just kind of would like, it would be cool to like be able to do my hair with somebody. You know what I'm saying? And it's like real time, you know? So I'm about to do that for real. The next time I do my hair, I'm gonna film. I'm just gonna do my hair, no edit. We're gonna talk, obviously. But I think that that's a really good idea because we really do. It takes forever to do our hair. You know what I'm saying? Like my hair is loaded with product. Like look, loaded. But it's cool because when I do the little water thing, it's gonna rinse some of it out and then it's just gonna be looking really nice and fresh. Also, I went to a Friendsgiving the other day. That was fun. 
Also, y'all, something that I'm really excited to start working on doing is pay off my car. I love my car so much. I feel like I picked the right one for me. It was exactly, it was meant to be. I think I told y'all the story already of how I got my car, but that thing has just been so good to me. And it's like my baby, you know what I'm saying? And I really want to just pay it off so that way I don't have to have a car payment every month. I'm just trying to pay it off own it completely that's one thing that i really want to start doing a lot more is just own my stuff everything i got i own it i'm gonna go wet this real quick and y'all gonna see how this just goes away look With soaking wet hair, this curl, this Shea Moisture Curling Hands Smoothie is legit. I am really liking it a lot. But with my hair soaking wet, you know. My hair is kind of dry or a little damp. It doesn't really do good. But I just went and soaked my hair. And yeah, it's really good. I really like it a lot. You know, I haven't been too crazy about like setting goals and working hard for them or whatever. You know, I definitely have goals and things that I would like to do and see in this lifetime. But I'm not really getting like super like forcing them or trying to make things happen too hard because I just feel like you interrupt what God has for you. And I feel like what God has for you is like bigger than anything that you can even think of i know when for me in those moments and times where i just kind of like surrender to whatever was best for me and trust my intuition on it bigger things than i could even imagine happened for me it happened for me a couple weeks ago in la crazy and so yeah i don't know it's just like lately i've just been very much so just like surrendering to you know whatever is best for me and you know i have goals and things that i want to do but i'm not super like i'm gonna do this or i'm gonna make this happen you know it's very much so just like keep trusting my gut put one foot forward in the direction that i want to go and then when miracles happen and things come and present themselves once again just trust my intuition is this something i should do or not is this something i should go with or not is this something i should go through with or not and i don't know i don't know how to explain it that good but that's just how I've been living my life lately and I've been very happy <laughs> and like things just keep falling into place like, like I can't even control it it's just stuff just keeps happening for me and I don't know why you know the only thing I get to go is God you know so thank you God you know and I'm just gonna keep trusting the path and the journey that he has set out for me just keep walking on it taking one step after the next and you know literally things just keep happening like I, without me even having to try or push myself too hard or ink like that you know and i don't know it's been really great so i'm gonna go put water on this come back all right y'all this is the final result right as my memory card is about to run out of space but look at my hair perfectly defined curls all around my head if you wanna be fed listen to your boy and i got this bread why am I like this? All right, y'all, so I think I'm gonna let my hair air dry for a little bit while I'm up still doing things. And before I go to bed, I'll dry it the rest of the way so I don't have to go to sleep with wet hair. Yeah, this is it. The results turned out so nice, so good. I'm really excited. I know my hair is gonna be shiny. I'll add in like pictures or little videos of my hair once it's dry so you guys can see what's going on. But yeah, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe if you're looking forward to more, and I will see you in my next video. Y'all, I just let my hair air dry for a little bit. Look at my curls. Crazy. I'm about to diffuse them so I can go to sleep. But this is crazy. I think it's the curl enhancing smoothie. It, it's like helping my curls like curl. It's like assisting. And I love it. I might have found my favorite new routine.